welcome back. My name's Sean Barr, and this is Back to the Basics. We are talking routers. Let's go! All right, hey, welcome back. Back to the Basics. We are talking routers. These are Layer 3 devices, and there's a couple things you should know about these Layer 3 devices. Number one. Uh, routers route traffic. They connect layer two segment to layer two segment. So a lot of times these these devices are sitting typically between your LAN and your WAN. So whether that's MPLS, maybe that's an internet connection, it could be a point to point. And now in the data centers and sometimes in large uh, office environments, those are that that routing functionality is being pushed into the switch. Uh, so so what do, what do routers do? Well. What they do is they take in a packet, and what they're, they they operate a router operates at layer two, but it functions at layer three, makes decisions at layer three. And what do I mean by that? Well, as soon as a packet comes in for, to a router, it looks at the the destination IP address, and then it looks it up in its routing table and says, "Hey, this destination, where do I go?" So it sees where it goes. It, it looks up the destination IP and looks at the at the uh, the next hop. And then what it does is it takes the source MAC address off of it, it takes the destination MAC address off of it, it puts the router source address MAC, uh, source interface on, the, on the, the packet, and it puts the destination MAC of the next hop. That, that's how routers function. So routers function at layer two, they make decisions on layer three. And so uh, they have a routing table, there's a number of ways that they can update this routing table. The first and most basic is a static route. What do we need to set up a static route? Three pieces of information. Destination network or IP, destination mask, and the next hop router. So you pipe, type that in, someone configures that manually, saves it in the config, and then that router, as soon as it has a packet destined to that destination, will send that traffic out of that next hop. And again, those things, the decisions are made at layer three, layer three but the routing actually happens at layer two, it's stripping the MAC address, source and destination MAC, and reapplying a new source and destination MAC, the destination MAC of the next hop, and the source MAC address of itself. So the other ways that routers can learn uh, uh, routes are through routing protocols. And those routing protocols are anything from OSPF, EIGRP, RIP, BGP. We're gonna cover those each individually in videos here, but just know that those are dynamic routing protocols and they work by basically advertising networks into the router and the router will pull those in and make decisions which ones it's gonna install on its routing table through a number of things. One is administrative distance. If it learns two routes uh, from different routing protocols, things like that, it'll make a decision which one I'm gonna install based on the administrative distance of the protocol. Uh, additionally, what else can routers do? Well, they can enforce QoS policy. Because they're sitting between two layer two boundaries, typically, between the LAN and the WAN, they are gonna be doing things with QoS. And so we'll be taking in traffic, maybe it's voice, maybe it's video, maybe it's a, it's a key business application, and it will be marking that and also providing some shaping capabilities. So for example, if you had a uh, business application that you said, hey, this, this application has 10 megs of traffic and no more, uh, we could shape that traffic and anything be above that 10 megs could get dropped. The same with, uh, with voice traffic. Typically we're using a priority queue, so it means the packets come in, they move to the head of line and they get sent on their way. We typically want to shape that to a certain amount of bandwidth so it doesn't, it doesn't take away from the rest of the network. So that's typically in a priority queue. That's all done with QoS and typically done on routers because uh, those WAN connections have limited bandwidth and so we want to conserve that or maximize that in the best possible way to get the to ensure the traffic we want passing through the network. So that's all what routers do. If you like this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, it'd be awesome. And if you want to comment, leave a comment, let us know how we're doing. If there's something that I said that you're like, hey man, get that video done quick, let us know, tweet us, email us, smoke screen, whatever you got, and we'll uh, we'll try to get to it. Thanks for watching and remember there is brilliance in the basics.